How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and mothers and fathers, and people, and teachers, and others? What I'm trying to do is be all embracive in my phrases, since I hope that what we do here appeals to you in many walks of life. I am the professor, Julius Sumner Miller by name, and my business is physics. And consider the following as a new adventure. Supposing I have a cylinder, solid, say, of wood or such, firmly supported on some longitudinal axis. See, I'm going to support it here like that. Let me put one turn of rope around it, one turn of rope, and let me put a weight here. Went over. Oh, over. The rope, the weight, the rope might slip. Let me take another turn. So I'm now representing the turns. Friction increases at an enormous rate. And thus, a tiny force at the end of the rope can hold up enormous tons of load. Proof. Here I have a weight which is quite substantial. Here I have the cylinder in question, and I have put one loop around the cylinder. And watch it, it's going to slip if I let go. If I slacken up, it'll slip. Let me take another loop. And I've separated them so you can see them. And now, less likelihood of slipping. Let me take another loop. On the verge of holding. Let me take another loop. On the verge of slipping. Let me take another loop. And there it is. There it is. Conclusion. I could have hundreds of tons here, and a little chickadee resting on this end could hold it at rest. And so we ask, in what magnitude does this holding force due to friction increase with the loops? I'll write the mathematics. The tension on one side is to the tension on the other side as e to the mu theta. Now somebody says, oh, that's awful severe. No, E is a certain number, a certain base of logarithms with which mathematicians and physicists work. Mu is the coefficient of friction, and theta is the angle of wrap. Once around being one circumference of, or two pi radians. Now, where does this come to play abundantly? When a ship pulls up at the dock, and a rope is thrown to tie her fast to the dock, it is put around a bollard, an increasing number of turns holds it rigid and fixed. And where do we read of this for the first time? In Galileo's dialogues concerning two new sciences.